Hey, welcome to the shop. This is Mike with Plus 8 Precision. And um, today what I got is a project that I made for the lathe. That video should be out or should be coming out shortly. I made this bolt, square-headed bolt, for my carriage stop. Um, the lathe had a regular hex head bolt. And it was kind of a nuisance to loosen, tighten, loosen, tighten. And so I decided, let's make a square-headed bolt. Then I can use the same wrench that I'm using for uh, some of the other lathe tools. And because this is taller than the hex head bolt, I could actually leave the wrench there on the bolt. And it wouldn't fall off and it wouldn't get in the way. So that was a plus. But what I'm doing here today is I want to heat. Well, not heat treat. I take that back. Skip that one. I want to blacken this bolt. I wanted to cold blue it, but pretty much the consensus for the number one brand is the uh, Brownells X Faux Blue, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Well, guess what? It's out of stock. And they don't know when it's coming back in stock. So it's probably another uh, casualty <clears throat> of the COVID. But I'm going to try this. Used to do this in the past on some other things. Just heat this thing up cherry red. Dunking in some oil. We got a little bit of oil right here. In this case, this is used motor oil out of uh, my Harley Davidson. And uh, we'll see how it comes out. So let me get it started, get the torch lit, turn this back on. There's a cherry red bolt. Lots of smoke. Smells like we're burning a valve on a car. But hopefully the results will be worth it. I do have the garage door closed because the sun's shining. I'm trying to get a decent picture of this, uh, video of this while I'm doing it. But I have to open the garage door here after we're done and get this smoke out. So it is quite smoky. Definitely don't do it in the basement. Outside would be preferable. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'll get the bolt out, clean it all up get the excess oil off of it and uh, we'll give it an examination and see how it looks. Well, here it is. It's pretty black. You can see that it's kind of sooty, but it is black. And um, one 
surprising thing that I've discovered is this was made out of mild steel, just coal roll. And you saw me heat it up. Full disclosure, I dunked it in the oil twice because I forgot to turn the camera on the first time. And so two times red hot, twice in the motor oil, used motor oil with a lot of burned carbon in it. Uh, this thing actually picked up a degree of hardness. So it's some kind of a case hard. I tested it with my hardness files and 50 RC will cut it. So, I mean, this should be 10, 15, somewhere like that RC. Maybe even a little bit higher, lower. I don't know. It probably doesn't even register on a scale since it's mild steel, but it's at 50. 50 will cut it. You can see the little marks right there. The other marks are just scraping off the the blackened part of the uh, the bolt. And I just ran a, a wire, wire brush over this so it kind of buffed it up so it's a light gray in some areas. <clears throat> I don't know how durable it will be. Only time will tell us that. But for something that takes uh, hardly anything, and I'm assuming you could do this with clean motor oil, I just happened to have a couple of used ones around and wanted to try that. And it seemed like it, uh, it did what it accomplished with possibly a bonus. This doesn't need to be hard, but if it's got a case hard, all the better, I guess. So let's put it on the lathe and um, see how it looks over there. Well, in my opinion, I think it looks pretty good. It actually looks uh, like an OEM piece of the lathe. Like the way Atlas should have done it, but didn't. So, I don't know. I like it. Leave your comments uh, down below. Let me know what you think about it. I think it's an improvement. Where's the hex-headed bolt? Hang on. That's what was in there compared to that. So, realistically, with machining this, one bolt, not two, three, four, five, it took me... With getting the tools out, once your tools are out, you could do more and save time on on uh, production of them if you need several of them for your piece of equipment that you're refurbishing, restoring. I would say this took about 22 minutes, 25 minutes to make, start to finish, getting all the stuff out, getting it all together. And then the blackening took, I don't know, three minutes total. You saw how fast it heated up. I got, a, I got an oxypropane set up. I also have an oxyacetylene, blah, blah, blah. But uh, much faster with that type of a setup than if you're using propane or map gas. But if you had a choice, propane or map gas, get the map gas. Much hotter flame. So leave your comments, thoughts down below. This is Mike with Plus A Precision. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're on the fence, it's free to subscribe. It don't cost anything. This is Mike with Plus 8 Precision. See you on the next one.